Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey, reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today, we take up from where we left off, beginning on diary entry number 39. One day, Jesus told me that he would cause a chastisement to fall upon the most beautiful city in our country, probably Warsaw. This chastisement would be that with which God had punished Sodom and Gomorrah. I saw the great wrath of God, and a shudder pierced my heart. I prayed in silence. After a moment, Jesus said to me, My child, unite yourself closely to me during the sacrifice and offer my blood and my wounds to my Father in expiation for the sins of that city. Repeat this without interruption throughout the entire Holy Mass. Do this for seven days. On the seventh day, I saw Jesus in a bright cloud and began to beg him to look upon the city and upon our whole country. Jesus looked down graciously. When I saw the kindness of Jesus, I began to beg his blessing. Immediately, Jesus said, For your sake, I bless the entire country. And he made a big sign of the cross over our country. Seeing the goodness of God, a great joy filled my soul. The year 1929. Once, during Holy Mass, I felt in a very special way the closeness of God, although I tried to turn away and escape from him. On several occasions I have run away from God because I did not want to be a victim of the evil spirit, since others have told me more than once that such is the case, and this incertitude lasted for quite some time. During Holy Mass, before communion, we had the renewal of vows. When we had left our kneelers and had started to recite the formula for the vows, Jesus appeared suddenly at my side, clad in a white garment, with a golden girdle around his waist, and he said to me, I give you eternal love, that your purity may be untarnished, and as a sign that you will never be subject to temptations against purity, Jesus took off his golden cincture and tied it around my waist. Since then, I have never experienced any attacks against this virtue, either in my heart or in my mind. I later understood that this was one of the greatest graces which the Most Holy Virgin Mary had obtained for me, as for many years I had been asking this grace of her. Since that time, I have experienced an increasing devotion to the Mother of God. She has taught me how to love God interiorly and also how to carry out his holy will in all things. O oh Mary, you are joy, because though you, through you God descended to earth and into my heart. On one occasion I saw a servant of God in the immediate danger of committing a mortal sin. I started to beg God to deign to send down upon me all of the torments of hell and all the sufferings he wished, if only this priest would be set free and snatched from the occasion of committing a sin. Jesus heard my prayers, and at that very instant I felt a crown of thorns on my head. The thorns penetrated my head with great force right into my brain. This lasted for three hours. The servant of God was set free from this sin, and his soul was strengthened by a special grace of God. In this passage, St. Faustina sees the chastisement of Warsaw, which will be like Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible. Apparently at that time, uh, Warsaw was called the abortion capital of Europe. There were so many abortions that took place in that city. This was about 10 years before the Second World War. And during that war, the city of Warsaw was almost completely destroyed by bombings. We see how important it is for us to intercede for our cities and our countries for the conversion of all sinners. Here, St. Faustina also received the grace of not being tempted against the vow of chastity. She had prayed to the Blessed Mother for that grace, and she received that grace. We see that strength comes from God, because without Him we can do nothing. I remember a story my mother told one time. She thought that it was easy for her 
to just give up things to make sacrifices that was something that just came automatically for her. But then God took that grace away from her and suddenly she realized, oh my goodness, it's not me, it's God. So the strength comes from God and we have to ask for that grace. Also, St. Faustina had the experience of the crown of thorns when she was praying and interceding for a priest that he would not fall into mortal sin. Again, we see that St. Faustina had that special vocation as a victim soul. Salvation isn't free, it costs. Jesus paid the ultimate price for us when he gave his life on the cross. And we can assist Jesus with our prayers and our sacrifices.